it's time to wake up. There is a new infinite loop in DK once again. This time we are going to be using a interesting interaction between Awakener of Souls and Eternal Layover. This was a combo that I saw in a Hearth Tech video, and I'll leave a link of that down below, where they thought it was a bug, but I don't really know. After watching this video, let me know if you think this is a bug interaction or how it should work. In the final thoughts, I'll go over more of why I think it probably isn't a bug, but you'll never know. Essentially, the game plan is we are going to be using uh, Exarc Malar as a way to discount our Awakener of Souls down to zero mana. Then we're going to be using Eternal Layover, which will then allow you to infinitely revive the Waking of Souls. Because for some reason, this overrides the Reborn, making the card think that this is a completely separate minion. Now for the line guide, the first thing to watch out for is draw power. Trouble Mechanic is actually probably one of the better draw power within this list, as it will allow you to easily draw into Exarc. For your combo later on early game removal tools such as frost strike and then finally any of the early game minions now with all being said let's look at some game okay time for a game against druid let's see what they have in store for us now i know we're using ethereal oracle here we probably should use the two drop that draws a draenei out of list instead because that does allow us easily to draw into maladar but well for this game we'll we'll use ethereal just because i don't know it was the first thought that i had and i think we can improve on this list i don't want to improve too much on this list because i haven't played too many games with it yet but it still feels a little bit cheaty to like do this full combo okay they're gonna scale up a little bit let's just hero power get the corpse online There's Crystal. It's also worth mentioning, I really do want to do something with Champion of Azeroth. I just haven't been around or able to test anything out too much for it. And either that's going to be Monday or maybe you'll already have seen a video. We'll see. Depending on how I want to reorder this for the week. Okay, how do we want to do this? I think... I guess body bagger into a hero power just to get rid of the minion. Yeah, well, I guess they're scaling up a bit more. Okay, okay, okay. Explosion is pretty cool. I also will say I probably could make this combo or this deck a little bit more consistent than it currently is by cutting out like explosion in the cards that are trying to get additional copies of it but i kind of just wanted to have a backup win condition just in case okay once just get a bunch of corpses hero power get rid of the minion They draw a few cards. Wow, they really are deep drawing into that deck. Champion of Azeroth, it is worth mentioning. There are three classes that I'm thinking about doing, which are Mage, Druid, and Shaman. I've tested quite not a decent amount with Shaman, where we're trying to use Valin to like double the damage of like a nature shaman list or maybe like an asteroid shaman list. Druid is just basically spell damage Druid, except Volin is just a really good card in that one. And then finally, you also have Mage, where you could use, I can't remember, Talion Blood Watcher to discount your Fireballs down to one mana that you get off of Antorit or Antonidas, which could be really good, but also like the double damage on any direct damage in spells could be decent. All of those ideas feel like something that you could make work and i think that card is kind of under explored which is also kind of why i want to showcase it as quickly as possible and why i don't know if this will come out before or after it just depends on how i'm feeling really all right i guess we just go face now the question is what do we want to do next we could do remorseless winter 
Or we could just pass the turn after we hero power. I think this is the safer option. We also do have air breach or whatever it's called. Okay, there's Unkiliax. Oh, one more mana. We have combo or full, full combo. But I think this will just be funny. <laughs> That's quite a big board. It also does put it into the pool of tide pool, which is great. Okay, so they attack into that. It's crystal. I don't know. Champion of Soul, or yeah, it's Champion of Souls, Azeroth is one of those cards that I think Druid has a lot of potential because there's a few ways that you could take it. The like stereotypical like spell damage list, or just like a ramp list, and where you're just like fingers crossed hitting that instead. It would be really, really cool if we had like Renathal and Standard. I know we don't, but it is what it is. Okay, we can pop this. Hero power, get rid of it, and then Remorseless Winter. Might as well grab Explosion. We actually probably should have grabbed Remorse or done Remorseless Winter number two. That's still fine. It's not like Druid has easy access to removal tools here. That does kind of suck though. I. I, 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 that, well, that, that's, that's not the interaction that I wanted. Oh, well, hi, I can wave now. I, I, I know how to wave. <laughs> the perks of the new model accidentally hit some of the toggles that I don't mean to hit. That don't actually affect the facial interactions either. Okay, so kill Jaden is fine. Also, it is worth mentioning. We probably should add Kill Jaden in this list because I don't think we currently do have him. And that definitely would help us out a lot just going into the late games. Because sure, we have an infinite combo in the deck. But boy, like the infinite combo can do absolutely nothing if depending on how we play the game. Right? Okay, how, how do we want to get rid of this board right now? We can use Threads. Actually, let's use crop and then threads. Probably should have attacked with one of the two attack minions. Oh, I mean, this will still clear the board. And besides the Zilliax, I guess. Huh? Oh, I mean, that worked a little bit better than I expected. Might as well put down the elemental. Oh, that could be bad. Because they just get it for free. I don't know. The more I think about it, the more that I'm like, maybe a champion of Azeroth, Druid, or Mageless could be fun because I kind of have been struggling on trying to figure that out. What I was going to do with those individual classes. At least with Shaman, I like Numbundo is a card that I really want to use in some way eventually i just need to figure out how we're doing that okay there's an imp hey hey the imp has six nine stats and very nice right huh? Huh? wink 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 okay is there any way we can destroy this entire board i don't think there is we're just gonna slam down the primus Get rid of the 16 HP minion. Human Turge is the best bet there. Grab another copy of Maladar. Also, worth mentioning since we're I'm, I'm thinking about it. What's all your opinions on the fact that we're getting a StarCraft expansion or mini set at least? My opinion is hopefully, fingers crossed, this means we'll get like a new StarCraft game. But I could also see this as a way for Blizzard to test it out like if there there could be more crossovers between like other oh that's combo okay we use maladar that grabs awakener of souls we're gonna make our opponent wake up to our combo here 
destroy the board. And let the infinite loop begin. No one can stop us if they don't know what's up, right? Actually, legitimately, there's like two ways this interaction like stops working. One is like just taking our Wicked Nerf Souls, but that's still okay. Because even if they take the Wicked Nerf Souls, they do have other Death Rattle minions in rotation, so they won't be able to get the infinite loop. Please take one of the Wakeners. Uh, I, I guess you could just like just. Mm. All right, now the fun really, really begins. Okay, there's lightning reflexes. Draw a few cards. Okay, spell stone. We just gotta eat up a hundred and sixty HP. Right, right, right. That 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 has to be what we do. <laughs> yeah. uh, we're just gonna get more and more each turn anything fun here oh ooh. actually orbital whatever mo orbital moon i think is the name of the card i'm curious that's the one thing i haven't tested so far i tested a list where we were using mosh pit as a way to override the so the the theory that I had was the fact that you're overriding the reborn causes the game to think that the base version and the overrided version are two separate minions. But from testing against mostly the NPC, that interaction doesn't actually work with Mosh Pit. But I did not try the orbital one drop card because it's new and i would almost want to bet if there's any other way that this works the same interaction that would be the card because it's the newer card and i think that it would be less likely for blizzard to try something like that out the fact that our opponent isn't actually giving up here is quite impressive too because eventually we're just going to uh do enough damage to their face with all our big minions right it's a board of eight sevens that you can't get rid of. Tide pool's funny. Okay, we can attack. Oh, attack with our. Oh, okay, that's good to know. Might as well get rid of the taunts and then just go face, I guess, right? It is counter spell. I guess the smart thing would have been just to not worry about that at all the fact that they have 200 h plus hp is kind of funny but i'm not worried about any minions that they have on board because we can just keep going right maybe we want to g oh uh, no yog has four okay technically frozen o i actually know frozen over when it worked the problem with wakener or um whatever the two drop cross spell that draws to is we're at a lower well i mean they have an infinite deck and we don't so <laughs> just give up please let me get out of this game before it's <laughs> it's midnight please i'm trying to think of like what they're looking for tendril out, out of tendril here dead air Pfft. hey it gets rid of the wind fairy which is nice this has to be Oh, no, definitely wouldn't work. Oh, they actually got deafened. That is so funny. <laughs> if that hit the right target, that would be even better. Okay, so let's do it like this. Probably not the best way to do this, but I still don't mind doing it like it. Get rid of Yogg. Oh, Corpsicle has to be it, right? You can go face and pass it back. Probably actually should have used Corpsicle just because it would do three damage there, but it is what it is. Three damage won't matter in the long run here, right? Right? Wink, wink, wink. Please.
Okay, there's coin. Behold the board of infinitely arriving eight sevens. Woo! <laughs> We're 19 minutes into this game, by the way. Okay, there's one amalgam band. That's actually one fat one amalgam band. To be fair, we're also at 32 HP, so I don't think we're going to go into fatigue easily. Okay, I guess we just do the damage to do the damage. Sadly, we will never use the tide pool, which is actually probably a good argument of like removing the tide pool. All right, let's go face. At least they're below 100. Oh, actually, no, they're still at above 100. <laughs> I feel so bad about playing this deck. I won't lie. I don't think this is the, how this interaction should work. It probably isn't. Um, Part of me almost wants to scrap this video. But if you're seeing this part of the video, let me know down below, you know? There, I did get other games with this, and I don't know if I'm going to include those other games or not, too. That's also a, another... Let me know if I included another game. Because this one, definitely is a long, long game. And I kind of just want to showcase one. Because there's not really much for me to showcase more than just playing one game. Maybe if I played a lot more with the deck, but I think this is fine. Y'all seem to like really, really goofy lists, and I think this is one goofy list that a lot of people will enjoy. I try. Oh, Ceaseless Expanse doesn't do what you need it to do either. I mean, it does destroy the board, but like it. Too bad there's no AoE silence. If there was an AoE silence in standard, I think this would be fine. But since there isn't really an AoE silence besides Reno, I, I don't think this is a combo that should exist. They are getting some fat one cost minions, though. Okay, we can pop that. We can AoE twice. Maybe three times if we really feel like it. Go face for a bunch of damage. If we're at 13, we actually probably should have used the last Malted Magma. And they're thinking. There's a lot not, or much you can do from this position, right? You'd have to get, like, five tough crowds. Or, not five, like, seven tough crowds. Shoot the game. Just pass it back to me. Go on. Just a little bit more. Ooh, full heal kind of sucks. Oh! Wait, does that even matter? Hey, Waking Over Souls number two, GG! All right, now that we're through the games, let's discuss my final thoughts of the deck. So I didn't play that many games with the deck because the more I played it, the more I felt like this was actually a bug. I tested a lot of different weird interactions between Waken Over of Souls against the Innkeeper just to see if any of those interactions would work the exact same way between Eternal Layover and Wakener. But... I sadly can report that none of them did, which is what makes me lean towards it being a bug and not actually intended interaction. Because I assumed this was working similar to how Sargeras works with his portals. If you get additional copies of Sargeras, they won't buff up the original portal unless it's revived off of something like Endgame. Overall, that means I didn't really want to playtest this against a lot of people because I kind of felt bad playing it i actually could get the combo off relatively consistently in the deck but i don't think it was worth the time testing and might be the reason why i won't leave any type of deck code down below overall though if you're looking for something a little bit wacky until the balancing changes this is a fun watch at least uh so i hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please like comment and subscribe until next time bye bye